Hey guys, so uh, today I want to talk just briefly about the proper dosing, uh, especially the proper dosing frequency of testosterone. And I was thinking about this because uh, a while back I was out visiting my dad and as uh, many of you guys know, he, he is on testosterone. He's actually on topical testosterone right now, but he used to be on injectable testosterone. And I was over there visiting and um, he had just gotten back from the pharmacy and picked up his prescription. So you know, I took a look at it just out of curiosity to see what, what his doses uh, were. And, you know, and I looked at it and it said, inject one half CC, okay, which is 100 milligrams of testosterone cypionate, every four weeks i thought well that's interesting okay well you know his doc who um has is very smart and takes fabulous care of him in terms of his cardiovascular disease and all of his other host of medical problems his diabetes and all that sort of stuff um it, w it was clear to me by looking at that prescription that they um they didn't really know what they're doing when it comes to testosterone and um and that's okay. I, I, I'm not faulting them for them because uh, what, what his physician was doing was basically prescribing the testosterone um, as they've been told to prescribe it. Um, if you look at most uh, standard pharmacopoeias that doctors uh, will look at, little quick, either quick reference books or pharmacology textbooks, it will say testosterone cypionate is dosed every two to four weeks. Um, and that has just been that's just been gospel for for years, and I still continue to see that. Um, I see it um, in patients that see their primary care physicians. I see it in uh, patients that see urologists, uh, and even sometimes endocrinologists. Although it, a little bit less frequently with them, obviously the endocrinologists um, are are much more aware of um, proper dosing intervals when it comes to hormones, as they should be, um, but. It's pretty common, you know. Every two weeks is probably the most common um, dosing interval that I see, and uh, not uh, infrequently, uh, men are not happy with that dosing interval. And uh, I'm going to show you guys why. So we're going to go over the um, a couple of important dosing graphs here that um, I think will help show why, basically, any, dosing any more or any less frequently than um, once a week is um, it's just it just doesn't make sense um and you, i think you'll see why when you see these graphs so this comes from um the fourth edition of testosterone uh, action deficiency and substitution which is a textbook out of uh, from the cambridge um, medicine publisher and it's really good um so in chapter 14 which is pharmacology of testosterone preparations they have a lot of information in that book, and you can get this on Amazon if you're interested, um, on uh, the pharmacokinetics of all of the different testosterone uh, preparations that are out there. And um, so what I'll do probably in, in future videos is, is do a video like this for all of them. Today, I'm just going to cover testosterone cypionate and, of course, uh, testosterone enanthate, which are essentially identical when it comes to their dosing curves. Okay, so what we have on the screen here is uh, four different graphs. And what you're looking at is, as it says there in the, um, in the diagram, multiple dose pharmacokinetics of testosterone enanthate, which again, uh, enanthate and cypionate look essentially identical. Uh, most of you guys will probably be on cypionate, um, although some docs um, will prescribe enanthate. Um, after injection of 250 milligrams of testosterone, and the top graph shows uh, what it looks like every week, every two weeks, and then every three weeks, and then every four weeks. Um, now, 250 milligrams is a big dose, certainly for once a week dosing. Um, the upper limits in the TRT world tend to be around 200 milligrams a week, which is, would be one cc of cypionate or enanthate. Um, 250 milligrams a pop every week, you're, you're kind of drifting into the, the juicing realm, um, even though clinically that actually might make sense for a patient some medical boards might uh, look at that unfavorably and so you, you might have a difficult time convincing your doctor to to give you that much testosterone every week um, but if you certainly could do 250 milligrams and dose it every four weeks and um, you'd be within um, some of the guidelines that are out there um, even though it doesn't really make sense so let's look at the top the top graph 
So on the left, you have the testosterone level. It's in nanomoles per liter. Uh, my brain doesn't work in nanomoles per liter. I just wasn't trained that way. So I think in nanograms per deciliter. So I, I put in what the equivalent nanogram per deciliter dose. So on the left there, when it says 20, you're looking at about 576. When it's 40, you're looking at just over 1100. And then at 60, just over 1700. Okay. So, um, as you can see, um, as you dose on a weekly basis, you end up developing a, a fairly steady looking graph. Uh, you develop a steady state testosterone level um, with, um, you know, a, obviously a high peak, but not such a low trough as with the other graphs. When you go to every two weeks, this is where you can see why this doesn't work uh, or why it's, I should say, why it's unpopular for a lot of men. So. At, at every two weeks, uh, obviously you get a big peak when you first inject, and then you slowly start coming down again. And by, by day number 14, you can see the bottom of that chart there. Your levels are, they're pretty close to what they were before you even started on testosterone. Okay, so what, what I hear over and over from men who are getting dosed testosterone every two weeks is they feel pretty good for uh, until about, day seven or eight um, and uh, and then they start feeling bad again and then by day 13 they feel like crap again and then they get their shot and they start feeling good again so what's happening is they're, they're essentially riding a symptom roller coaster um, throughout the whole entire course of their therapy where they have essentially one good week and one bad week one good week and one bad week and you know nobody wants to live like that like that's not that's not optimal okay and you can see obviously i'm not going to go into detail on the other two graphs but that only gets worse when you dose it every three and every four weeks every four weeks i mean if you look at that curve that's just dumb that's just dumb um you know that the last two weeks of that month this guy's going to be miserable okay he's going to be well below the threshold of uh, where his symptoms are going to come back and uh, and my dad didn't feel good on it either you know it, 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 I don't see how any man could feel good on that um, the only way to get that trough level up would be to do a big mega dose at the beginning which is why they say 400 milligrams um, every four weeks but you know that also doesn't make sense because then these guys end up way super physiologic um, for a week or two and they may experience all kind of symptoms associated with that and water retention and um, and otherwise not feeling good because their levels are just through the roof uh, they may have more issues with erythrocytosis and aromatization and um, all the other issues that come with with way super physiologic testosterone levels and then for those last two weeks then they start feeling crappy again and, and that's and that's no good so um, so yeah, once a week dosing. I mean, that's that's what most guys do. Um, now, I don't have charts to show you guys this because there just aren't a lot of good studies on it, but um, more frequent dosing um, is almost, almost certainly for most guys a better way to go. Um, a lot of guys do twice a week dosing and um, do very, very well with that. Um, optimally you should dose testosterone probably every single day you get a very steady level of testosterone so if you just sort of micro dose every single day um and and many men do that um they do very very well on that the, the problem i've seen clinically is that even the guys who are the most gung-ho about it initially uh after a few months of injecting themselves every single day they just kind of get tired of it and they start they basically go back to what typically happens is they'll go back to twice a week dosing um, and uh, and then they'll they'll stay there uh, in my particular ex uh, experience I, I dose once a week um, because I, I've tried these other more frequent dosing regimens and I didn't feel any better um, and I didn't feel any worse I just uh, had to stick myself more often so so for me once a week does the trick um, if it's not broke I don't try to fix it but certainly if, um, if as a man, if with once a week dosing, if uh, you're not feeling that great the day or two before your shot, try splitting it up. Talk to your doctor about it. Uh, I actually see that even with once a week dosing, I see that not uncommonly. Um, on day five or six, there's, there's a bit of a slump that men experience. And uh, a lot of times that completely vanishes when you dose uh, twice, um, 
uh, twice a week. And it doesn't exist at all uh, when you do uh, once a day dosing. So, so anyway, something to think about. Um, if your doctor, uh, if your primary care doctor prescribes you testosterone and they want to do it every two weeks or God forbid every four weeks, um, you might want to just professionally suggest, hey doc, um, you know, I've, I've, I've heard that testosterone doesn't last that long in your system. And if you want, you can show them this, um, this chart, which is readily available. If you do a Google search, you'll uh, very easily be able to find it and, um, and show it to them um, because they, they don't know. They, I mean, it's, and it's, you know, it's, um, it's not their fault because all the little references are out there. Um, in particular, I use, uh, I don't have my phone here with me, but I use a program called uh, Hippocrates that I keep on my phone and I use it all the time in the emergency room. It's fabulous. It's got almost every single drug out there, very quick, rapid reference um, that I use, you know, antibiotics. It's, it's great uh, and it's free. Uh, but if you look at the testosterone dose in there, it's, uh, yeah, it's 50 to 400 milligrams every two to four weeks is what, is what Hippocrates recommends. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to, it's hard to blame, you know, primary care physicians and urologists, uh, when they dose it that way, because that's what, that's what they're told to do. And that's how they're trained to do it. Uh, it's only later, uh, if these physicians go and get specialty training in, um, age management medicine and, and in hormone replacement for men that, uh, they may run across studies like this that show that that's, that's not the proper way to do it. So anyway, I hope you guys find that helpful. Um, I'll catch you next time. Medicine video and audio has been created and shared online for informational purposes only. This podcast does not constitute the practice of medicine or professional healthcare services of any kind, including the giving of medical advice. I am not your doctor. No doctor-patient relationship has been established. This content is not meant to be a substitute for professional medical advice and should not be relied upon solely for that purpose either. The only purpose of this content is to present peer-reviewed, research-backed health information for your consideration. As always, rely on the advice and guidance of your personal physician before undertaking any activity presented here, and if in doubt or not comfortable with said activity, practice discretion. Your health is your responsibility and not ours. Finally, I take conflicts of interest seriously. I accept no compensation whatsoever from any private corporations, including pharmaceutical or supplement companies. You can trust that if I recommend a medication, product, or service, it's because I genuinely believe in it and not because I'm being paid to endorse it.